Mom! <sighs> How come you're all awake? You know why. I threw up twice. Yeah. Sorry, Shecker. I couldn't sleep at all. Look, are we all up for the same reason? I say we do something. Yeah, like we talked. It's a long way to go. But everybody's gone. Hold it. Wheaties is dead. We should be so lucky. Best investment I ever made, that headset. Now look, they're all gone on the pack trip. If we move fast, we can be back before they are. We're in enough trouble. I say go. Go. Where's Lally to? Oh, I let him sleep out. He wanted to. He fooled you with that little baby stuff again. What? He wanted to show off, do it all by himself. He's miles away by now. Depends on when he got up. He could get killed on the road. Too bad. My ass bleeds for him. Oh, sometimes you give me a pain. Where'd you go? You know where. Why didn't you wake us? I figured you'd be too chicken. I'll do it myself. Then why did you come back, huh? To get my pillow. We're all going. You've got five minutes to be on your horses and out. Now, last chance station. If we don't get off here, we go right to the end. Are you sweating this? I'd feel better if you leave that gun. It's just a pop gun. If this works, it'll make up for everything. Yeah, if we make it. It's a long trip. No, we're losing time. Okay, look. I don't want any feedback from any of you guys later on. When we let those buffalo go, even to save them, we break the law, and don't forget it. Well, a law ain't big enough for us Westerners. <laughs> now, I want you guys to understand this. That's all we talked about when we came back yesterday. OK. Then I guess we have to go, huh?
bless the beast and the children For in this world they have no voice They have no choice Bless the beast and the children Well, here we are. You like it? <laughs> well, I haven't seen it yet. What's the difference? Your mother saw it and liked it. Now she can say my son the cowboy. Hey, are they gonna laugh at me because I'm fat? I'm fat, too. Well, they laugh at you. I'm a comedian, Stoop. Now, listen to me. Remember, be a good boy and behave yourself, you hear me? And if you don't do anything that I wouldn't do, you're gonna have a terrible time. <laughs> now, uh, don't worry about a thing. I'll grease it up for you good. Ah, uh, come on. Number 10 of camp rules and regulations states explicitly, absolutely no fireworks will be allowed to anyone on, on the, the camp grounds. This means everyone. <laughs> Look, we asked the parents not to come up here. It's uh, it's upsetting to the boys. Look, what is it? I happen to be in Vegas. I jumped down and said hello to the kids. I love kids. There's nothing like kids. You know, that's the trouble with Vegas. There's not enough kids. Hiya, fellas. Hi. Up, up, and away, hey. <laughs> Tell the truth. Do I look the same as I do on TV? Tell it. <laughs> they love me. Listen. I got a great kid here. Use him on the social staff. He's nothing but laughs. <laughs> if you don't mind, I have to go to my meeting. He does fantastic impressions. Do Humphrey Bogart. Oh, hey, hey, sweetheart. No two-bit dame is gonna slap me around. I'll put you right back in the gutter where I found you, sweetheart. <laughs> is that beautiful? It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, he does everybody. Sammy Davis Jr., Edward G. Robinson. He even does me. Show him. Oh, the kid's incredible. He even does me. Show him. <laughs> now, Eddie Robinson. Hey, hey, I want you to take good care of my son, see? All the ice cream he wants, and then time off for licking the spoon. <laughs> hey, hey, don't move. You'll find your body. Hey, what kind of stick is that, dummy? That's the way you talk to the camp director? Now apologize like a man. I apologize like a man. Hey, <laughs> you beautiful. Hey, listen. That's incredible. If you need any help, you know, like a benefit or something, you want to raise a little cash, don't be bashful. Pick up a phone and call. Oh, sure. You know, I've done more benefits than Jaja Gabor has, husband. Yeah, well, thanks a lot. It's <laughs> yeah. good to know. Yeah. Now, what, what, what's this? A little C-note. Keep an extra eye on a kid, you know what I mean? <laughs> no, thank you. I don't take money, ever. 
Now that's class. That's real class. Plays no favorites. Tammy, sweetheart, you're gonna have to make it on your own. All right, Dal? Take care of yourself, son. Moish, you ready? Hop up and away! Hop away! Split that up amongst you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Take any slugs, your mugs, and eat your oatmeal, you hear? Up, up, and away, hey! Up, up, and away, hey! Up, up, and away, hey! Okay, let's give him a breather for a minute. Hey, how much ground have we covered? Oh, come on, don't start that now. We've got a long way to go. What time is it? My boy, the old professor can tell. Just by looking at the moon, and the stars, and the direction we are headed in, and his wristwatch, just what time it is. What time is it? It is later than you think, good enough. Well, I'm getting tired. So why don't you go back? Why don't you shut up? You're not even old enough to be in this camp. You only got in because they took the two of us. How do you feel? Fine. Why? I haven't thrown up once. And I'm not going to. Come on. other activities. Phobic reaction continues to school. Gerald has recently manifested self-destructive tendencies, roots to problem in home situation. Yeah, well, you tell me when those head shrinkers at school say it isn't the home situation. Maybe his father was crazy. You said he was. All right. I know what he needs. Fellow at the club recommended it. Camp out west. You ride and shoot and dry out behind the ears. Ride a horse? He can't handle it. He'd be thrown and crippled. Hey, I'm pooped. Stop complaining. These horses are more pooped than you are. I'm tired, too. Martha, you're smothering him. It's too far away for Gerald. Gerald has never been away from home. Martha, we got a hell of a problem on our hands. The kid is 14 years old, and he still pees in the bed. No, don't worry. I didn't mention it to the fellow said he put him up for the camp. Because I don't know if Gerald can make it with the other kids. That's not fair, and you know it. Then do something about it. Because I'm wondering if you haven't managed to turn the kid into a goddamn fairy. They can hang loose there. They'll be all right. Sure got tired fast. You know, they don't make horses the way they used to. Hey, you guys! Wait up for me, will you? We walk against the traffic here. Where to? This road takes us right into town. We can be there by morning and we bag a hitch. Six of us. There are plenty of trucks rolling through. Hey, hey! Fellas! Fellas! Watch this! Yoo-hoo! 
going my way. Oh, oh you're yeah. going there. Yeah. 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 Oh, hey, fellas, fellas, listen. Guess, guess this one. Uh, folks, we we have a really, really fine show tonight. The uh, Flying Kimbers, the Metropolitan Opera, the Beatles from London, and the Bolshoi Ballet. And for the second half, well, well, Oh, come on. <laughs> hey, hey, what the fuck? Wow, you crazy? Are you crazy? With you. you son of a bitch. Oh, what you said. And for the second half of the show, Milton Berle. Oh, Shekka, come the on. Philadelphia Symphony Orchestra, the United Nations, and Raquel Welch. <laughs> Shekka, that's just great. Well, who is it? Spyro Agnew? Oh, come on! You guys are so Oh, watch it! Hippies! Hippies! Up yours! Christ, we almost got killed! That dude wasn't kidding around. And we got a long way to go yet. So what? So shut up! Maybe we ought to go back. Yeah. Maybe. What the? I knew this would happen. Bunch of scared kids. Sure, it gets dark. A couple of trucks go past. To hell with the buffalo. Let them die. Cotton, we're not going to get a ride on this highway. Who says so? Oh, man, those trucks spitting by say so. You got any ideas? Get us some wheels in town. What do you mean, get us wheels? Bag them. Steal a car? <coughs> you know, <laughs> you should be locked up. Then let's go back. <coughs> that way. BC! 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 the end of a two-week period now, and uh, this is the day we've been waiting for, and we give out the awards. But first, as I do every summer, I'm going to recite that remarkable, inspirational poem that's written by the old camper himself, H.E. Pug Drummond. It's called State of Mind. It says everything there is to say about Box Canyon. If you think you're beaten, you are. If you think you dare not, you don't. If you think you'd like to win, but you can't, it's almost a cinch that you won't. For out in the world you find success begins with a fellow's will. It's all in a state of mind. For many a race is lost without even a step being run. Many a coward fails before his work's begun. Think big and your deeds will grow. Think small and you fall behind. Think that you can and you will. It's all in a state of mind. Life's battles don't always go to the stronger or faster man. Sooner or later, the man who thinks is the man who thinks he can. Ah! 0900 swimming. If temptation should rear its ugly head, resist fellow campers and you'll find You'll grow to be a man one day. It's all in a state of mind. Jesus Christ, you kids want to go blind? Now cut that out and go to sleep. Think you're outclassed, and you are. You've got to think high to rise. You've got to be sure of yourself before you'll ever win the prize. Your gun is your friend. It's your principal source of protection if you learn to use it properly. It is also a means whereby you can gauge your enemy's true purpose. Mainly, it is a source of pleasure if you learn the proper methods of handling it. Sir? Going 
can get rough. Life is tough, but you're as strong as an impregnable fort. Play to win, dare to lose, but play the game like a sport. So hoist your banners high aloft, old Box Canyon's wunderkind. You can, you will, you must. It's all in a state of mind. Well, now it's time to award the trophy. So as I call your cabin number, uh, have your designated leader come up and accept, huh? First, the winner, the highest scoring tribe. From now on, they're going to be called the Apaches. They get the buffalo head. Cabin five, huh? Next, we have the Sioux with the mountain lion, cabin three. Yay! And the Comanches with the black bear, cabin one. Yay! And the Cheyenne, they get the bobcat, cabin two. Where are you? The Navajo, at the antelope, of course, cabin six. Yay. Now, our, uh, our last and lowest award doesn't really have an Indian name, but to help the boys up the ladder of achievement, we've given it a name that, <laughs> well, they're going to want to get rid of pretty fast. Cabin four, the bedwetters, right? <laughs> Here is your trophy. Now, boys, I want you to relax. Care for anything? How about some candy? I got some really swell stuff here. Now, boys, I know you've been to other doctors before. I'm not going to treat you like babies. You're both well aware of your parents' constant bickerings and reconciliations. I want to get right down to the matter of sibling rivalry, OK? Know what that means? Well, it's when two brothers like yourselves are very competitive and constantly vying for attention. Steve, I want you to tell me exactly what you think about Billy. I hate him. He stinks. He's a pest. My parents give him everything he wants because they think he's so goddamn cute. He and his security pillow. He's the favorite all the time, and if I touch him just once, Wham! I get it. I wish he was dead. I'd cut him up, dig a hole, put the pieces in, let the worms eat him up, and I'd never have to see him again. Then I'd stop banging my head against the wall. That makes sense. Hey, you got any other kind of candy? You see what I mean? Well, I was talking, you took all the candy. It's always that way. I get nothing. Oh, shove it. Uh, Billy, 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 listen, you just heard what your brother said. What I want you to do is to... Hey, what are you doing? My pillow! My pillow! My pillow! My pillow! And all the candy, it's gone! All the candy, it's gone! All the candy, it's gone! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it!
out. Come on, everybody out. What's the matter? Six kids in a car like this. The cops would be on us in a minute. We've got one just like this at home. We need something nobody would notice. Hey, scram! Hey, boys! You goddamn boys! You stay away from that caddy, you hear me? would ever notice this. Not much. It's big enough. You know? It looks like us. Yeah. And there's a picture of you. Hey, hey, hey you guys. Come on, now stop it. Get off there. How are you going to start it without a key? My calling card. You're too much. Let's see you do it. All right. Now, look, we don't want a crowd here. Why don't you guys wait across the street? This will only take a minute. OK, come on, guys. But you got one for four good tires? Sure. Bahrain, four good tires! Yay! Yay! Ditch him? Just act natural like you belong to this thing. Tip, sit up. <laughs> wow, that was close. It looks all right now, Cod. We were lucky. Tap. 
huh? Back in this crate. Really good job. Yeah, thanks. Only one thing. What? Don't call her a crate. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh, you're not getting any. Stop. Put it down. <coughs> All right, you dings, I caught you. Now, you better tell me what you're smoking and where you got it, or we're going to be in here all night. Jesus Christ, it stinks in here. Nobody's gonna talk, huh? You psychos. You're the worst bunch of misfits I've ever seen. Oh, boy, did I get a short straw when I drew you. Well, as a matter of fact, Wheaties, you jumped the gun. I, we were preparing something beautiful for you to give you this as a token of peace. The H-E-double-L-U were. What is it? Shecker's father sent it. It's uh, earphones with its own radio. We want to make up. Well, we got another month to go, and we might as well be friends. Go ahead. You guys want to give this to me? What's wrong with it? Go ahead, Wheaties. It's stereo. This side goes oomp, and this side goes pa. Wow, that's wild. You can turn it up like this. Like it, you idiot? Hey, schmuck, fox face, jerk. Huh? Uh, it works, huh? Oh, yeah. It's out of this world. <laughs> you should be out of this world. They should put you away forever, six feet under. Hey, dumbbell. You jock. I'd like to push your face in. Like push it in the toilet. <laughs> Neat, isn't it? Yeah. And you can pull in faraway stations. Tune it yourself. Yeah. Wow. Good, huh? You like it? Try it in bed. It'll put you right to sleep. Well, it's a little awkward. It's worth it. Just turn it down a little. All right, everybody hit the sack. Hey, aren't you even going to say thanks? Huh? I said, aren't you even going to say thanks? Let's wait until morning. If you want to be Apaches badly enough, if you want to avoid the humiliation of being low man on the totem pole, and I'm not only speaking to the bedwetters, you can raid. You always have a second chance. If you can steal the trophy, it belongs to you, and it's yours until the next powwow. Anything goes, as long as your counselor does not know about it. Good luck.
Okay, okay. okay bedwetters, turn around. <laughs> move it. Come on, move it. Oh. Hey, here's the piss pot. <laughs> Don't you cry, good now. You either. Say church on fire. You do that, we'll burn this place down. Church on fire, 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 One more time. One more time. Open your eyes, it's a beautiful morning. Open your eyes, it's a beautiful day. No need to wander, take a sleepy from your eyes. Haven't you heard? It's a beautiful day. A beautiful day. around all the time, Cotton. Yeah. You gotta eat sometime, man. Double hamburgers with ketchup, mustard, pickles, onions, tomatoes, relish. And a triple milkshake. Yeah. I think I'll nibble on my pillow. Oh, we gotta keep rolling or we lose a whole day. But I'm gonna lose my best friend, my stomach. Food, 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 food. food. Okay! We eat. <laughs> I can't cut the engine. Let it run. with everything, please. And the biggest milkshakes you can make. Yeah. yeah. Let's see your money. Oh, I'm on diner's club. <laughs> sure he is. <laughs> oh, well. right. Make one a cheeseburger, huh? <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey, take her. Give him some How about feeding the jukebox? Good now. Six. Cotton. See them. And make me free up on you, Bugler. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hey, Mom, we need some more quotes. I gave you four. Where's my dollar? In that there cotton picking pool table. Ten minutes for a quarter ain't enough time to scratch your cue stick. <laughs> Hear that, Mama? That's all you're getting. You milk drinkers wouldn't happen to have some spare quarters, would you? Yeah, how about that, huh? Yeah, we got some. Only they're not spare, uh, they're round. <laughs> Miss, whenever you have those hamburgers, we're really hungry. Oh, he don't look hungry. Look at that there. Oh, 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 bouncy, 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 bouncy. Hey. Hey, what are you, anyway? Girl or boy, huh? What are you? Just a musician. Like that group in the jukebox over there. We're going to L.A. Can it, Shaker? You got a name? Yeah, we got a name. Group therapy. <laughs> group therapy. Now, what are you, wise guys? No, I told you. We're, we're musicians. I'm Ringo, and uh, that's Onohuko over there by the corner. You got a real name. Look! He told you. The fact is, we used to be group therapy. We changed it. Now we're the before Christ. Before Christ? That's right. Dig our backs, man. B. C. Before Christ. I think it's a put-on, Digger. Yeah, I don't like it. And I don't like being bugged for quarters. Woo-wee! That's unkind. You don't. You don't. Why don't you guys mind your own business? Shut up, Ma. OK, smart asses. What are you up to? What are you up to? I asked you a question. If there's anything I can't abide, it's a drip lip do kit. Now you gonna talk? I said, can't you talk? That's the second car you've stolen and smashed up. Why? Do you know what it's cost me to hush this thing up? Pay the principal so the insurance company doesn't cover the loss and cancel our insurance? This time I haven't even called your mother at main chance. It would ruin her stay. Christ, I try to understand you. You have your own car, and you know how I feel about your hair, and I haven't even asked you to... Tom, is that our block of stock that just crossed? Yes, Mr. Tuff. We got the whole 30,000 off with the eighth of a point. Good trade, man. Hello? Aren't you gonna answer me? What have you got to say for yourself? In the West, everything sticks, stings, or stinks. Is that a fact? Hey, Digger! I bet you if you ask these boys real nice, they might just stand still for a couple of beers. Yeah. That'd be kind. Real, real kind. Why don't you let these kids be? No, no. That's all right. Uh, we'll be glad to, uh, but we gotta go right now. We're really late. Come on, Chef. Here, take the beers out of here. But I'm hungry. Take it with you. Come on, guys. We're late. Walk. Don't run. Don't look back. Just keep going and move it. Oh, man, why do we have to run? Stay with it. Damn it! To be. We're not. Come on, get in. Hey, 
know what a Kreplach is? No. What's a Kreplach? You don't know what a Kreplach is? No. Who is he? This guy doesn't know what a Kreplach is. What the hell kind of Gentile are you, anyway? Then you can grep your head off if you don't know what a Kreplach is. What's a Greps? Uh-oh. Trouble. that engine. We don't want to have the motor overheat, do we? If you're heading for L.A., how comes you're pointed towards Albuquerque? Or didn't I get you right, boy? Well, I'll be a sagging mule. <laughs> no keys. <laughs> you got this thing wired, boy? What do you guys want? Well, I'm not so sure. Six milk drinkers with a wired truck call themselves a B4 Christ. <laughs> How about those quarters you guys wanted, huh? How's about that? How's about us letting the law in on what we got here, too, huh? Like to see something else? <laughs> no, hold it. You gotta be awfully good to beat this. Hold it, boy. Hold it there, boy. Oh, you got a pop gun. Travel before you wear earrings. You ain't got the hair, kid. There's more BBs in here. I suggest you hightail it back to your grease bowl, or I'll hang them in your ear. And this close, I can't miss. Hey, here's a quarter. Take the bus. Get your ass out of here. Get your ass out of here! Get in fast. Let's go. Jewish. Because my father would hate you. <laughs> hey, look out, you crazy! Hey, 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 hey. What's the matter with you?
believe it. What? I just never noticed it. I forgot. I completely forgot. Gas. We're out of gas. Oh, no. Now? I'm sorry. I am Christ Almighty really sorry. Sorry, huh? You're sorry. I'm sorry. A fat lot of good that does us now. We're almost there. Oh, God, there's not a gas station in a million miles from here. Misfits, weirdos, bedwetters. Wheaties was right. We're no damn good and we never will be. I'll get this thing started. going out with tonight? You know, Tony Mathis. Oh, he's a kid. Carefully, maybe your father. Not mine. I only have one. Tony will probably live here for a while, that's all. Like, what's his name? This may be for keeps. It better be. How old am I this time? Twelve? Soon I'll be ten. Then eight. Oh, pretty soon I'll disappear completely. No son at all. You'd like that, wouldn't you? <laughs> You're terrible. What do you really think? Mother's still beautiful? Not for long. I'm almost 16. Try gooping that over. In one year, I'll be 17. You know what I'm going to do on my 17th birthday? I'm listening. Join the Marines. You can, you know, if your parents sign the papers. Dad will. And I won't, of course. And you will, of course. Because if you don't, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make a big sign and march up and down in front of the Bay Yacht Club. My mother's over 42 years old, it'll say. I'll kill you. Psst. I didn't want to go in the first place, just because I'm stuck with a psycho kid brother. Go ahead, knock your head against some wall. Hey, we're not that far that we can't make it. Yeah, and if the truck hadn't run out of gas, we wouldn't even be in this mess. Good now! Why don't you take this and choke yourself with your beads? It's not Tep's fault we ran out of gas. That's just another one of your excuses. All of you must think we're gonna get medals or become heroes for what we're gonna do. Sure, those riflemen and hunters will give us a medal, all right. They'll love us. Oh, look. <laughs> look, it doesn't matter. Forget it. Now we're gonna vote. Either go back or go ahead. And one more week, camp's over. We'll probably never even see each other again. Nobody will know. Nobody would even care. Okay, 
Now, all those in favor of going back, raise your hand. Cotton, you flake out! I was going alone until you talked me out of it! Go crawl under Cotton's bunk or some truck. Yeah, well, I don't need Cotton, but all of you still do. And I'm only a baby! Wait a minute. What do you want? I'm sorry, Cotton. He can't go by himself. Rotten kid. Be crucified if anything ever happened to him. You wouldn't believe how they baby this brat. Up, up, and away, hey. You said it yourself, Cotton. When we leave camp, it's heads up. Okay, it's getting late. I think we should bed down for the night and get a fresh start in the morning. Come on. <laughs> the going can get rough. Life is tough. Keep your spirits running high. Play to win, dare to lose. It's all a pastrami on rye. Shut up! <laughs> You're not. You fairy, and he's a bleach blonde, too. Yeah. Where's the rest of your junk? We don't want you in our cabin. Well, I'll be sorry. I'm gonna drown myself. Oh, you don't have the guts. Let's be into it, pissy boy. Fourteen years old, you can't even hold water. You can drown yourself in your sleeping bag. It's wetter and warmer. Well, I'll be sorry when I'm dead. What are you trying to do? What's your name? Gerald. Gerald Goodenow. You can call me Cotton. How long are you going to stay in there? What kind of thing is that to do, trying to kill yourself? If I'm so angry at someone, I wouldn't kill myself, I'd kill them. I didn't want to kill anybody. Why don't you come out of there? You're not going to drown yourself. They threw me out. I don't have any place to go now. You can come in with me. We're a bunch of misfits in my cabin anyway. I... I wet my bed. That's all right. 
Listen, I know everything about the Marines. There are guys pissing and crapping in their pants all the time. They wouldn't throw me out. Anyone who tries that or laughs at you, I personally will beat the hell out of them. I promise you that. Now, oh, come on. You know, I'm getting cold just looking at you. That's it. Come on. Come on. Good now. Cotton. Nothing to worry about. That's your bunk over there. You're the six. Snap to it, men. This is Gerald Goodenow. He's a bedwetter. So is he. And he still sucks his thumb, and he has a stupid pillow, and he sleeps under Cotton's bunk. Go ahead. Show me you knock your head against the wall. Knock it off. Knock it off, you guys. That's Stephen and Billy Lally. We call them Lally 1 and Lally 2. That's Lawrence Teft over there. He doesn't like the name Teft. But we call him Teft anyway. I hate Lawrence even more. You wake up in the middle of the night sometimes, think it's crickets. Teft grinding his teeth. And I take shit from nobody. You have the bed next to mine. Hmm, careful. I wake up very hungry sometimes for blood. <laughs> You're funny like your father. Good show, old chap. And for that, Elizabeth, you may show him your diamond. Looney is a bed bug. And Doc Von, he wants to fight in the Marines. My sugar now. I think I'm gonna like it here. In the other cabin, everybody was so... so normal. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be close now. Gee, I hope we're going the right way. Quiet in the ranks. Shekhar, if you want to make any remarks, make them to me. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Cotton, do you know where we're going? We went over it very carefully, Shekhar. But in the dark. It's just over that hill. Now cut the talking. It'll soon be light. The place will be crawling with hunters. Oh, shut up. Yeah, how do we know somebody isn't watching? General Patton is watching. Shut up, Shekhar. Two, three, four, hip, oh, two, nuts. three. What? Jesus Christ, man, I'm not in the army. Tift! What? <laughs> this is <laughs> <not> it. <laughs> hey, I hear it. <laughs> That's it! That's it! Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm a lover.
shooter's camp is down there. Keep it as quiet as you can. Come on. Buffalo blood. Now you kids are gonna see some buffalo close up. Hey, man, I hear they look like boxcars. Yeah. I thought there weren't any more buffaloes. No, there's plenty of them. You're going to be getting a good look at them while the rest of the camp's on that dumb climb down the Grand Canyon. <laughs> here are you kidding the day's just begun we don't want to see this all right then go get a coke or go to the can or something but don't try to leave without me come on johnson I'm not going to stay here. Me either. There must be something we can do. Let's go over to those tents. Your dead friend. Wanna sell him? It's a her. Wanna sell her? We'll give you a million dollars for her. Heck, it cost me $40 myself. How come 40? 
Well, that's what you pay for a permit to shoot one. I'm lucky. My dad sent in five for my family. I'm the only one that got picked. Well, ain't you the turd-kicking lucky one? Takes a week. Once every year, they thin out the rotten ones. You liked killing that buffalo. Well, I didn't do too good a job shooting her, but the meat's gonna be fine. They's just dumb animals. Ain't good for nothing alive. There's a lot of dumb people good for nothing. Nobody shoots them. Why, you see people shot every day. You watch it on the TV. You little bastard. That's a dirty word. My pa say people with dirty minds use dirty words. Come on. If I don't get out of here, they're gonna shoot a hundred of them. Killers! You a ticket. It figures. Vahulu eshomayim vahoretz vacho tzvoom vachal Elohim bayum hashvi malachto asher. Asher. What the hell happened to you? You could have had lived the whole thing, you little crumb. Six months rehearsal gone right down the drain. Thirty million dollars worth of talent sitting out front as my guest, and you do this to me? Me? Why? Why I oughta? Bat your teeth right down your throat, you little punk. Yelling out like that in public. All you bleeding hearts, give me a pain right in my cojones. The poor goddamn buffalo. Well, I've had it up to here. From now on, no more radios, no music, no movies, no talk at night, no nothing. CD says you're all emotionally disturbed. Emotionally bullshit! You're dings! You know what a ding is? That's something that don't fit anywhere, anytime, anything, any place. It uses up space, but it's useless. Nobody wants it or knows what to do with it. So it's got no use for living. Like those buffalo. You know why they were being destroyed? For being animal dings! And so should you. So should you. Because you're the pee poorest, loudmouth, crybaby, snot nosed, grab bag full of dings that this camp's ever seen. Now hit the sack! One word out of you. And I'm going right over the CD's head to the sheriff. Well, now, where in the hell do you think you're going? Hey, 
you got no right to touch my footlocker. You busted my life. I picked it. I'm an authority. Nice influences for little boys at camp, Wheaties. Sex manual, 101 sex positions, a thousand nights in a Turkish harem. And let's not forget your booze. And this, oh, this suits you just fine, Wheaties. Okay, who do you want me to show this to, huh? The camp director or the sheriff? All right, you deviant. We'll let you play, counselor, because we don't believe in destroying dumb animals like you. But the rules of this game are changing. From now on, the bleeding hearts are running this cabin, and we'll run it our way which can't be a hell of a lot worse than yours. And if you don't like it, kiss off. You can shove it up your anal orifice. What's an anal orifice? Ass. Ass? Then why didn't you say it? Hell, I didn't think it would be anywhere as tough as this. It's all a state of mind. It always looks easier on TV. Well, what's that supposed to mean? It just means that maybe we should have had a good look first. How did we know we were coming back here? Somebody's got to go up on that catwalk and get a look at the whole layout. Well, what if you fell off? They'd mash you if you fell off. Oh. Well, I'm afraid of high places. I'd try it, but uh, I'm kind of heavy. Why don't we draw straws? What a hairy outfit. All right, I guess I'll have to go up. Where's Lolly too? Here's his pillow. Well, where'd he go? A crazy kid. Hey, look at me! Wow, you can see everything! How'd you get up there? There's the ladder. Gee, get dizzy. Damn it, Billy. You come down from there. You come up and make me. your pillow. Throw it away. Throw it away? Yeah, and don't make a big thing out of it. Hey, man, look, what if these buffalo don't like us being here? Can they come charging against this wall? No one knows what a buffalo's gonna do. They can spook at a pin drop. All right, you guys stay put. I want to see the whole layout here. Like us. We're your friends. 
Nobody's gonna kill you anymore. You're gonna go where you want to. Into the woods. Live happily ever after. I wish I was young enough to believe that. Anyway, nobody's gonna shoot them like sitting ducks. Okay. I got it. It's not as tough as I thought. The big gate is down at that end. The idea is to get these buffalo moving from the pens out that main gate. Just like that. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Now, Tep, I know you can open the lock on that gate if it has one. You guys... What are you doing? Hey, look, folks. Me. Good now. Bedwetter. Fairy. What? Really fine. Really, really, really fine. Good, Good boy. Show. Good, Good boy. Show. And for next week's show. Include me in. <laughs> now, come on, guys. We want to finish this job and get out of here before those shooters wake up. KLOP is on the air. What the hell is that? What the hell left this goddamn transistor on? Anybody? Checker? No, I'm protected. I got too much fat. Sorry, fellas. It was my radio. I flipped it on accidentally. Yeah, right. At least now we know how to spook the buffalo. We're dinking away all our time. Come on, let's go. OK. Come on, on the door. Lally, one and two, you go to the right side of the pens. Shekhar and Goodnow, you go to the left. When Teft opens this lock, we'll pull the chains off. I'll give the signal, and then you blast the beast with the transistors. Turn them up loud, and we'll yell like bombs dropping. You I got it? I can't open this lock. You see, the idea is to spook them all at once, and then just get out of the way. Cotton, I can't pick this. What? What the hell are you talking about? Look, I can wire cars, I can pick certain kinds of locks, I can even open doors and windows, but I know what I can't You're do. You're nuts! That's simply a rusty lock! Tef, you gotta! If we could pull this thing. Pull, pull, pull what? Give me that, I'll force it open. Cotton? Hey, Cotton! <laughs> I say, Cotton. <laughs> no, no, no! I'll be back. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. United Airlines Flight 206 to Des Moines is now available for boarding. Boarding Area 7. Well, it was a great weekend we had together, John. I sure look forward to these weekends, don't you? We'll go sailing again next time, huh? Dad, you know what other kids call me? Cut. How did you know? <laughs> well, that's what I'm called. <laughs> Goodbye, son. Dad, do you have to go? Oh, come on, kid. You, you always do this. I know. Well, the court allows me just certain times with you. You know that. We don't have to obey the court.
Sure we do. What time is it? Uh, it's six o'clock. Pull a building. I'll hook up to the gate. Okay, man. Now let's snap to it. Go round back of those corrals, like I said. Those shooters will be down here triggering us. Remember, turn those radios way up high and yell. Got it? Okay, come on. I'm the double. Okay, almost. I saw one of our box canyon trucks at their camp. Wheaties. Yep. And he'll be here pretty quick. <laughs> Oh, come on. Lock, when I'm through with you, you ain't gonna close anyone in again. Okay. Captain Cotton to Buffaloes, you're breaking out! Blast off, Taft! There'll be a hundred buffalo loose in this state. 
You might see one sometime, a real live buffalo. My father, my father in his limousine on the Long Island Expressway, John, his chauffeur, he says, look, Mr. Teft, a buffalo. So my father says, so what? And John says, it's moving, and we're not. <laughs> I'd like to see the look on those shooters' faces when they find out the enemy's Just grazing, like horses. So what does that mean? No! Any time now that camp gets here, you'll be rounded up again and slaughtered. You deserve to get killed, you stupid buffalo, big and fat. Cotton, they can't understand you. <laughs> Teft, where's your gun? I left it in the truck. What the hell did you do that for? It's right there. To all get it! Why? Why? <laughs> you don't ask questions. I'm giving the orders. We'll fire over their heads. That'll scare them enough to run. But Cotton, that may wake up the whole camp. If those buffalo running didn't wake them, nothing will. Shoot it over their heads. Shoot it! Now don't stop for Christ's sake, Tiff! Nothing's happening. I'm giving orders. I told you, you keep firing! Move, you crazy bastard! You hear me? Cotton, it's no good. You need a cannon. Look! My God, it's the hunters! Jesus! Stop him, Tiff! Shoot at him! No go. Gun's empty. That's him, all right! said we'd finish, but we will. <laughs> okay. We're all busting loose. Clutch on the left, break on the right. You watch, men. Marine Captain John Cotton, sir! Hold it! They're gonna stampede the buffalo, for Christ's sake! Move! You dumb kids, move! Get the tires, the tires! Lower! Watch out for the kids! James! You don't want them goddamn fools! down there.
bless the beasts and the children. Give them shelter from a storm. Keep them safe. Keep them warm. The children. The children.